<clears throat> oh my god, look at this dude. <laughs> Y'all ever see those videos? So, I have a mouse in my house. Not with a can, not with Sam I am. I have a real life mouse. So I, I, I knew I had something in my house. It was in the kitchen before. Well, my kitchen is a tall person kitchen. So there's stuff on the floor and then way up there's stuff, you know, right at like sort of my uh, chest level, right? Because I, I can't be having a small person kitchen. And uh, all of my like food food is either in the fridge or way up top in the cabinets. So the mouse in the kitchen was on the floor. What's on the floor? Pots, pans, canned food, stuff like that. So um, I started, every time I went into the kitchen, moving stuff around. I wasn't sure it was a mouse because I didn't actually see it. It would dash here and dash there and it's moving so fast and so quickly and so coming from an unexpected angle that I didn't actually, you know, have, if you were looking and expecting it to come out of that direction, I would have probably have seen it. But I'm moving something to my left and it darts from the right and that's almost at the corner of my eye and I just see a blur. That's how fast it, fast it was. Well. The other night I heard something in the room. Now, everybody keeps saying, oh, there's no ghost in your house. Uh, is there uh, something logically explanation? Well, there's ghosts, there's mechanical things, and then there's mice. So, I heard something uh, in my bedroom, in the corner. I'm really good with my hearing. And so I tried to direct Anubis to go over there, but Anubis is useless. And that's really the, the point of this entire uh, video is to question how could I get train Anubis to go after the mouse? How can I get Anubis to go after anything? Anytime I point, he licks my <laughs> he licks my finger. So uh, so I tried to get Anubis on the bed and over to that corner because the bed takes up most of the room. Uh, and uh, Anubis was useless. He just sort of uh, looked down. He would look down because uh, he knows that when I say get him, it means there's something to get, but he doesn't know what there is to get. And so he ends up uh, laying down on the bed next to me, <laughs> just just sort of cuddling. I'm all like, uh, no, this isn't cuddle time. Come on. So this morning, I'm... Um, I have my uh, laptop sitting and I'm watching movies and this critter ever so nicely scuttles across the bottom of the baseboard right in front of you of uh, the laptop and then he goes into the other corner so again I direct Anubis to go in the corner well I don't let Anubis on the other half of the bedroom so to Anubis the other half of the bedroom is fantastic and brand new and oh my god I can't believe you're letting me over here what's the well I have all of my my big huge big huge outlet and all that sort of stuff of electronic stuff that I don't want him to lick and electrocute himself right you understand my reasoning so I move back all the stuff that was blocking him I set up a barricade he doesn't tend to uh jump over it unless I uh, coax him to, him to jump over the fan which is uh, three foot tall yeah hey yeah anyway uh, one day he's gonna jump over the fence so I let him over on the other half of the of the bedroom and wow oh my god oh, look and there's all these smells over here and oh my god are these empty buckets of ice cream they smell so wonderful oh my god don't judge me so, so uh, I pick up the buckets of uh, empty buckets of ice cream. I pick up the orange peel. I pick up the oranges. I pick up anything possible that he would uh, uh, be distracted by. And so I said, and he kept going. Okay, that was that was fine. Then there's nothing else over here to smell. 
so I'm gonna go back to my half of the bedroom. I go, no, 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 get it, get it, get it. So he finally he goes over there, and as I'm picking up stuff, the mouse darts from that corner to under my bed. Well, my feet are in the way. So the mouse runs over my feet. Now, I'm a guy. I'm not afraid of anything. And it was so soft. Oh my God. It was like a little puffy cloud of of grayness running over my feet. It was, it was, it was quite the experience. Oh, and so I then tried to clean up under my bed and then I got the bright idea, since Anubis is too big to get under the bed, to go get something that would go under the bed. So, I go over to my neighbor's house. And uh, finally I said, uh, Is your Chihuahua Terrier a mouse catcher? And it's not the actual neighbor who uh, we call Grandma. It's not Grandma. Grandma's gone. It's her her mooching roommate who then brought in her even more mooching boyfriend which they said oh that's not my boyfriend oh well you sleep in the same bed together and I'm pretty sure uh, all he's wearing is shorts at some times because I can tell he's not wearing underwear if you know what I mean uh, you know I'm just observing stuff I'm just saying anyway I'm not curious about nothing I'm I'm like a computer. I'm just I'm gonna tell you the facts. Dude is sleeping in your bed, naked. Ah, uh, and then he was trying to fix the bed because he said the bed made too much noise. Really? How do you know the bed makes too much noise? I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, so she was out there. He was in the shower, and their shower makes uh, the noise like the trumpet of Gabriel. I mean, it, it's so loud. I don't know what that's about. I said, how can y'all live so when the, somebody takes a shower, the entire house has to hear it all the way from the, one end of the house to the other end of the, of the trailer. Okay, so the girlfriend is out there, or the, the whatever, whatever chick uh, uh, who's not sober probably 90% of the time. And I said, does, does Rocky... Does Rocky chase mice? She says, I don't know. We never tried it. Because they have a mouse in theirs. And I've seen their mouse. I mean, it, it was so cute. It poked out from the eyelet of the stove. And the ears were all nice and round. <laughs> I was like, that is the cutest thing ever. Oh. Uh, I've never been around rats or mice. So this is all brand new to me. So, uh, you know, this is, I guess, uh, we have distributed mice uh, uh, around the trailer park. So, now, I take Rock, Rocky, who's about this big, and just so happen, as I close the door to their trailer, I see Grandma's kit, not cat. So, the cat is coming to go inside because he, uh, he wants water or whatever. So, I pick up the cat, too. So, I am double-fisted terrier and cat. I'm going to get this mouse. So I come in, and Anubis tries to eat everybody, but I tell him to get away. I put Rocky in the in the bathroom, shut the door, keep Anubis out. Put the cat in the bedroom, shut the door, keep him out, and then I put Anubis out. So then I go into the bedroom to see what the cat's going to do. The, cat, uh, the cat's going to immediately run and catch the mouse. No. The cat is curious. What is this brand new place? And all he did was jump around. From the bedroom to the laptop to the to the uh, totes of clothing that I have, the thousand clothes that I have, uh, and and that's all he did. And I'd put him on this side of the bedroom and that side of the bedroom and buy this, and I try and scoot him under the bed. And nope, he's like, uh, nope. I'm going to investigate this place. And uh, this is a brand new place. I'm just going to sit here and meow after a while. So, get rid of the cat. Then I bring in Rocky. <laughs> so, Terrier, same thing. Put him over here, put him over here, put him over here, put him over here. Uh, he's used to climbing up on furniture, so 
He does exactly what the cat does and jumps on the bed, jumps on the laptop, blah, 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 jumps on the tote. Uh, you see anything under the, you see anything under the bed? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what what's going on. I'm a dog who uh, has never been trained, not even to sit or nothing. That's my problem, right? I picked pets who are not trained to do anything, who are useless. Uh, he, he belongs to a 70 year old woman who says, stop barking, stop barking. And he continues to bark because he's not trained to do anything otherwise. He has no idea what it, all he knows is where the food comes from. That's it. Cat, same thing. All the cat knows is where the food comes from. That's it. And, the, and then the cat says, uh, let me out of here. All right, let me in. Let me out. Let me in. Let me out. Useless pets. Anubis is somewhat trained, though. Somewhat trained. He at least knows. I mean, there is something when I say, get it. Get it. And uh, he makes a valid attempt to get it. He catches flies. <laughs> because I guess we live on a farm. And if you leave your door open, a fly will come in the house. Uh, and, and so I have fly sweaters uh, stashed all over the house, all over the trailer. And and so, how would I go about training Anubis to catch the mouse? And I mean, seriously, how? That's the question on the video. Uh, thank you. Uh, some of my videos were messed up. I pulled them. Then uh, when I did a video that was perfect, uh, now a company tries to claim that uh, it's their video. I'm all like, oh, jeez. You know, if it's not one thing, it's another. An hour-long video that you all have not seen yet, and they're claiming it. I'm all like, go away. This isn't yours. It's my corporation's video. So that's what's going on. That's why you're not seeing very much of anything lately. I mean, I'm trying to put stuff out daily, and then all of a sudden you all don't see anything. All right, so thank you all. Like the video. Like the video so that maybe a pet expert will see it. Thank you. Bye-bye.